Phillips McNamara was a quiet man. He never spoke just for the sake of it. But when he did speak, people listened because what he said was worth listening to. Whenever there was a Banks race at Punchestown or an amateur race at Cheltenham, punters always loved to back whatever John Thomas was riding. Why? Because they knew they could rely on him to deliver. And boy, did he deliver. And it's spot the difference, winning again round the cross country here at Cheltenham, and another win for Ireland. Spot the difference wins. Spot the difference was one of his favourites, and he even rode the mighty disc of thunder. Himself and Enda Bulger were great allies and friends. Watching John Thomas ride around that Banks course at Punchestown was something us jockeys loved to watch because we could marvel at a man who simply had a gift, a way with horses that made it look so easy. JP McManus loved him riding for him and who could forget the way he squeezed the last ounces from Ree Dove in the National Home Chase at Cheltenham Festival in 2002. JT McNamara has now got a shake up Rith Dove. What will he find? Tim Bearer is sticking on well on the near side. Rith Dove is flattening out in the last few strides. His nose is just in front and he's going to get there. A wonderful ride. I will always remember his smile when coming down the walkway after winning on T for three because he just loved riding winners at Cheltenham. Most of all, he was a man who loved his family. And even in tough times after his accident, he fought for only one thing, to be at home with his wife, Caroline, and his three children. John Thomas McNamara, sadly gone, but never forgotten. He was an outstanding horseman, a record-breaking rider, and tragically he was in the twilight of his career when he suffered a broken neck in a fall at Cheltenham three years ago. It left him in a quadriplegic condition. Hugely brave in the saddle, he suffered his adversity stoically and with enormous dignity. It was the cruelest of blows. But the good times, his love and humour and his outstanding talent are what we'll never forget. Over a fence, he was nothing short of brilliant, with heroes such as On the Fringe, Spot the Difference and Risk of Thunder. Is Risk of Thunder going to hold on? It's going to be very close. Very big, easy. Almost kind of stuck. Spoiled the party, but not quite. Risk of Thunder is one of them. With Drum Beg and the Fox Hunters at Cheltenham and Tifa 3. Here now is the final fence. Four commanders, T for three, won't go away as they make their weary way up the running. It's T for three and JT McNamara. T for three delivers and wins. And JT has given him a, a great ride. I mean, he's one of the great amateurs of any era. And we'll never forget how he coaxed the reluctant Riz Dove home in the National Hunt Chase. JT won five point-to-point -point titles, over 600 winners, a record at the time. And he rode for 18 seasons. Um, he was a very tough but fair man. Uh, he was as honest as the day is long. Uh, if he had an issue with you, he told you, or an issue with anything he told you. He was a wonderful man, and uh, to deal with what he's dealt with in the last three and a half years just shows how mentally and physically strong he was. And I say it's also a huge, um, a huge thumbs up to his wife as well. I mean, what she's had to cope with since that day in Cheltenham and how they've dealt with it. Um, you know, and his kids, Dylan and Harry and Olivia and, and all his family. Um, I think if the world had more people like John Thomas and Caroline, it would be a hell of a lot better place. Well said. I mean, they played a lovely tribute to him earlier on and some of the great winners he rode. I thought he was one of the best amateurs I've ever seen him. I'd say you riding against him, he was up there with plenty of the pros you rode against too. I was with him one day in, 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 in the Bulgers and we were riding a horse. And he is the only man who has ever made a horse do something I couldn't make it do. Um, you know, he was a wonderful rider. But um, you remember people for what they did, but I remember him as the man he was. Um, we come and go as jockeys, but he was just a wonderful, wonderful man. Since I suppose since I started riding for JP, I got to know him even more because he'd ridden a lot of the the younger horses in point to points and things, and he was a great judge. He was a great judge of a horse and as a person. Um, that's for sure. And, he was a little bit like myself in some ways. He could be grumpy enough at times too. Um, but um, yeah, look, it's very sad circumstances. It's it's really tough on on, on everyone. Uh, but I I think it's 
you know, I think it's more important that we remember him as a, as a brilliant jockey and a, and a brilliant person uh, because he was that. The last sort of year and a half or two years, he's been he's been at home and he's had a few horses in training and been down the yard most mornings and things like that. So he's he's tried his best to adapt to um, the situation as best he could. Good has come out of it too, John. Don't you know what? He's brought a lot of people together. He's you know he will have helped. Um, the welfare and the care of, of other jockeys in the future, um, you know. So um, look, at, I was trying to think all morning what I could say about him, and I don't think there's anything that you can say that um, justifies or is worthy enough for for what a great person he was.